From across the globe, this is Stan Banterman bringing you the most popular science, tech, and current affairs news direct from Twitter, Mind Warp. This week, we find out that you should never grow up, what a DNA bullet is, and how you're not the only one who fancies a Monday in bed. But first up, make no bones about it, the skeleton found in the hallowed setting of a council car park in Leicester has been confirmed as King Richard III. Yes, DNA extracted from the bones has been matched to a Canadian cabinet maker named Michael Ibsen, who is a direct descendant of the humpback king's sister, Anne of York. The news set Twitter a tweeting this week. I am surprised they found Richard III under a car park. I thought he was supposed to be a bit of a psychopath. A hearse! A hearse! My kingdom for a hearse! Richard III has finally been declared 1485 hide-and-seek champion. Indeed. The monarch was buried here 527 years ago in what was once the city's Grey Friars Friary. And in a gruesome twist, it seems a pelvic wound was most likely caused by the upward thrust of a weapon through the royal buttock. Next up, have you ever played DNA paintball? It's like regular paintball, except you get arrested a week later. Developed by a UK company, Select DNA, a new police gun fires pellets of artificial DNA that will show up on the skin under ultraviolet light up to two weeks later. A bad day for bad guys. Kinda cool, but also kinda creepy. Just weird. This technology is intended to be used in riot situations to tag suspects so that they can be apprehended by the law at a later date. So if you've been a bad boy, prepare to have a copper armed with a big UV torch knock on your door. Next up, who picked the wrong day to pull a sickie? A massive 375,000 British workers were expected to take a day off on the first Monday in February, which has been dubbed International Sickie Day. I'm already at work. Why didn't they broadcast this yesterday, for God's sake? Half of our office is out sick today. Cut the Super Bowl flu. <laughs> Post-Christmas blues and the flu outbreak are both being blamed for this day in bed. But a survey of 10,000 workers has revealed that 39% of people take sickies because of, surprise, surprise, a hangover. And a lucky 3% say they've been busted by their boss in the flesh on their day off. Awkward. Finally, what athletes would you say have the greatest endurance? Formula One drivers, long distance runners, or how about Lance Armstrong? Try 10 US friends who have been playing tag for 23 years. I want to be bros with these bros. I read this and I thought, wow, what a waste of time, money, and resources. In other news, I have no soul. The game takes place in February each year, and the tagging attempts of these 40-somethings have become more elaborate over time. They've been creeping up on each other at work, in bed, hiding in car trunks, and even flying to Europe just to say, Tag, you're it! Awesome sauce. Consider yourself mind warped. Until next time, keep tweeting, banter folk. This has been at Stan Banterman. Hashtag mind warp. Why not just subscribe to Head Squeeze? Just lift your finger up and touch the screen or move your mouse. That's it. Oh! <laughs>